uh, I want to invite our dear Bishop uh, David uh, Kigonda uh, to come and speak to us. Uh, we'll give him 20 minutes and uh, we'd like to listen from you. And uh, we know that God has the final message from you. And uh, so we want to welcome you. Praise the name of the Lord. I say the praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am by the names of uh, Bishop Dr. David Chiganda. Uh, Bishop David uh, Chiganda. Chiganda. Just, like, just like a Uganda. Chiganda. Bishop Dr. David Chiganda. Simple name. Amen. Amen. And uh, I want to start by appreciating the vision bearer. Of this summit. Of course, together with the wife. Dr. Uh, Habite. Dr. Abra Habite. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for being obedient to God. And thank you for having listened very well to the voice of God. I believe this vision is timely. It has come in a time where Africa needs, needs it the most. Uh, I did not come alone. Uh, Dr. Uh, Teresa Gudina, uh, much respect to you. But I'm Dr. Teresa Gudina, I can't remember close to now, a year ago, when you came to Uganda and we received you very well. I was seeing them for the first time. But somebody who knew them approached me. Because back home I am a leader. On different levels. Uh, one of them is that uh, I am the president for the National Pastors Platform of Uganda. And so one of the pastors that uh, subscribed to that umbrella church organization approached me. And he told me that he knew them. And he confirmed me that they are good people. And he confirmed me that they are kingdom minded. You know there is a difference between being church minded and kingdom minded. Such a thing can only happen with the people who are kingdom minded. So the moment he confirmed to me that uh, Dr. Abera and uh, Dr. Teresa were kingdom minded, I told him, let him come. I want to meet with them. Dr. Abera and Dr. Teresa, and they shared such a wonderful vision with us. I told them, wait a minute, let me invite the city pastors to come and listen to you. So we organized a breakfast in one of the nice hotels in Kampala and we were able to meet the pastors and shared the vision, this very vision with those pastors. And whoever listened to them bought into the vision. 
ያንን سنሰማ እኛም ወደራዩ የጠለቀ እንገባን and many of them they may not be here physically but their hearts are with us in this mere ያን ይሄንን ራይ የተካፈሉ መጋቢዎች በአካል እዚ በመካከላችን ባይገኙ ሁሉም ግን የራዩ ተካፋዎች እንደሆኑ ልናገር ወዳለሁ however i would like to uh, ask those that were able to come to please stand up and wave to the people መምጣት ያልቻሉ ቢኖሩም ግን የመጡ ትንስቲ ልጋብዛቸው አስተውቃቸው አብረው ከኔ ጋር ይመጡ pastors and ministers from Kampala please stand up Kampala የመጣችሁ ፓስተሮችና አገልጋዮች everybody who came from Uganda please stand up and wave to the people ከኡጋንዳ የመጣችሁ actually I did not stop on mobilizing pastors from Uganda I even mobilized some pastors from Kenya ከኡጋንዳ ብቻ አይደለም ሰዎችን አስተባብረ ያመጣሁት ከኬንያም አስተባብረ ያጠጫለሁ and one of them is bishop eridabe and that chose and now msachao nacho i did not only stop on kenya i even mobilized the pastors from zimbabwe ኬንያም ካላቆምኩም ከዚምባብዌም ደሞ ሰዎችንም ጋብዣለሁ አፖሶ ላንገቶን ከኛቲ ፕሊዝ ቱጌዘር ዊዝ ዘ ፍሬንድ ስታንድ አፕ አንድ ዌቭ ቱ አስ ከጓደኞች ከጓደኛቸው ጋር ብሮ መጣዋል አይ ቢኮዝ ማይ ዋይፍ ኢዝ ቦርን ኦፍ ዚምባብዌ ዳት ዋዝ ቬሪ ኢዚ ፎር ሚ ቱ ዱ ወደ ዚምባብዌ የሰዎችን መጋበዝ የቀለለኝ ባለቤተ ከዚምባብዌ ተወላይ ስለሆነሽ ነው አይ አክቹሊ ኬፕት ናጊንግ I kept nagging Dr. Abira to give me permission to mobilize the rest of other nations of Africa. I kept nagging him, can you give me permission to even bring those from Nigeria? How about the, those from Uganda? I kept nagging him because over that. Zarim demo yenin fakal tayyik no yemetawut eske zarim tayyik nebana leloch ya Africa ager yallu wondemochachinim indigabiz edilun disetenyna nesunum indastababar. Because because of the reasons that i am about to share with you in the uh, few minutes that have been given here enen tiyaqe le metayek yanasasay betki deqaws kemnagaraw hasab yetenesano but uh, you will allow me i know time has gone but allow me to at least call my wife to come over here and say hi to you she's such a nice woman beautiful woman from zimbabwe ከዚምባብዌ ያገኘውat ባለቤቴ ናት ይላሉ ጻቸው ደሞ መተው ሰላም ይሉናል we are very busy back home dr abera knows ባገርቤ በጣም ብዙ ስራ አለብን she is a director of a school but also passed along with me now for her to have accepted to come here it has been a very big surprise please allow her to say i mean to say how are you to you salam le malat indit fakrulla tfelgallo mkniyatum bizu alafinet intita kenega bezi program lay lemegenye selemetach Hallelujah. 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 Amen. I greet you in the name of Jesus. Ba Jesus sim salam lachawallo. I'm so grateful to the Holy Spirit. La man fas qiddus kibrin satallo. That you have gathered here for one cause. La and alama hullachinum sebesebel. We thank God for the vision bearers. I just want you to know that this vision is from God. This can never be a human being. This can only be God. I want to thank you so much for turning up in big numbers. Different church leaders. I just have a word from God. ከእግዚአብሔር አንድ ቃል ሰሞኝ Psalms 102 መዝሙር 102 ላይ verse 13 ቁጥር 13 ላይ it says thou shall arise አቤቱ ተነስ and have mercy upon Zion ጽዮንን ማራት for the time to favor her ሰዓቱ አደርሷልና yeah the set time is come የተቀጠረላት ሰዓት ደርሷል allow me to decree and declare in 2 minutes ስለዚህ በሁለት ደቂቃ ውስጥ እናገራለን this is the time for africa to arise አሁን አፍሪካ መተነሳበት ጊዜ ነው for the lord has mercy upon us እግዚአብሔር በመህረቱ ተቀበለና we have lived in the lies of the devil for a long time ለረጅም ጊዜ በዳቢሎስ ውሸት ስር ኖረናል we have made to believe that we are nothing ምንም እንዳልሆነን እንድናስብ ተደርገናል we have made to believe that we are second citizens ሁለተኛ ደረጃ ዜጎች እንደሆነን አርገን እንድናስተደርገናል but this is our time 
ነው God said this is our time to arise. Ahun yemin nesabet gize no. For the Lord had mercy on us. Exaber bemogesu bemiras takabulona. It's time to move forward. Wede fit yemin nedebet gize no. It's time to go far. Wa arqan min nedebet. Pharaoh told the children of Israel. Pharaoh le Israel lejoch indialacho. On Exodus 8 verse 28. Asa saat 8 ta 8 lai. That I will let you go. But don't go far. Many of us we have gone. But we have not gone far. Because Pharaoh is a system. And it's a pharaonic it's a pharaonic system. Yeah, a monitoring system. So what That monitor progress. Monitor success. And it's a controlling spirit. And you can see that many of us we are under this spirit. That's been controlled by the enemy. That you cannot go far. But we have come all the way from Uganda. To tell you that this is the time to go far. It is not Pharaoh. It is not Pharaoh. It is not the system of the world that should determine how far we should go. This is the time for Africa to go. Africa and we are going far in the name of Jesus. We are here to make a statement. Because the Bible says when a son of man set you free, you are free indeed. Brothers and sisters, we are free indeed. We are no longer under the bondage. We are not slaves. We are heaven citizens. We are blessed. And we are marching on. We are faithful. And the Lord has amplified our voices. Let me tell you, great pictures are coming from Africa. Africa is blessed. Africa We are blessed. We are anointed. We are favored. And we are here to change the world in the name of Jesus. I want to thank God for my bishop. And you may be sure pain. I'm a second. I'm gonna share the word with us. The Lord bless you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory. Somebody say, Amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let Africa go. Let Africa go. Somebody say it louder. Let Africa go. Let Africa go. You will agree with me that it is very difficult to use this phrase, let Africa go. Let Africa go. I'm still learning your language. I'm learning it. And I know it won't take me long I will learn this language in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So that uh, one of the time I'll come here when I will not need any interpreter. If you believe that, say amen. Amen. I was saying, uh, it is very difficult to use this phrase let Africa go and you forget to remember the first time this phrase was used in the Bible we all know that the phrase started in Egypt. Which actually not far, not, not very far away from here. When the children of Israel were in bondage. 
They were meant to live there 400 years. They ended up living there 430 years. And in those 30 years, a lot of things went out of hand. They were afflicted. They were manipulated. They were subjected to hard labor. Their babies were killed in the labor words. There was a lot of chaos that was going on. Until they got tired of the slavery. One thing we've got to understand as we are here and as we are talking about this is that it is very easy to very difficult to get out of something until you get tired of it. Can I repeat that? It is very difficult to get out of something until you get tired of it. As long as you are still comfortable with the situation, it will never leave you. So they got tired. They cried unto the Lord. And the Bible said the Lord had their voices. But earlier before that, during their struggle, the Lord spotted a young man by the name Moses. Because of time, I may not go through how Moses got converted from being a Pharaoh's son now to convert and join the Jews. And that Pharaoh But somehow, somewhere, he found his way to the Jews. He went to, he, to them and introduced himself to them. And we were between liking the idea and not liking the idea. Just like many of us would fail or we, fail, we first felt when this vision was introduced to us, let Africa, let Africa go by Dr. Berura. Of course, many of them, it is human to start to think, what is he up to? What is he calculating? Where is this heading to? What is, what is he calculating? I know that. It, because we are human beings, sometimes we think like that. On one occasion, you remember very well, Moses saved a Jew from being harassed by an, by an Egyptian uh, policeman. And he actually, Moses actually went out of his way and he killed that Egyptian. And he bid to save and deliver the Jews that were under torture. On another occasion, he came to them. This time, he did not find an Egyptian torturing a Jew, he found a Jew. Torturing a Jew. In other words, a believer was fighting a believer. Think about that. Sometimes it's not only our enemies that keeps us in bondage, but even ourselves, we do things that keeps our keeps us in bondage a little bit more. And then, the Zet Alato Chachinadalam Tatsuno Argobas Ratus Emyaskarun, 
እርስ በርሳችን እየተነካከስን እንዳንሻሻል ራሳችንን እንገድባለን the inner fight amongst each other amongst us በአገልጋዮች መካከለ ያለ ሹኩቻ the fighting amongst us በመካከላችን ያለው ጠብ sometimes is also a problem አንንድ ጊዜ ትክክለ ያልሆነ ነገር አለ so he, he engaged them ከዛ ጠራራቸው ቀረብ ብሎ brothers why are you fighting ወንሞች ተረጋጉ አትጣሉ ያለ we are together in this thing እንዴ በአንድ መንግስት ውስጥ ያለን ሰዎች ይሆናል we are having the same enemy why are we fighting each other አንድ ጣላት ነው ያለን ስለዚህ እሱን ተባብረን ከማስወገድ ለምን ትጣላላችሁ እርስ በርሳችሁ you are all subjected to torture why don't you stop the inner fight among us you እኛ ሁላችን በባርነት ውስጥ ያለን ነፃነታችን እየናፈቀ ለምን አንደኛችን አንደኛችን በደላለን it didn't go well with moses yesu mikr ba dinga ile waham afses hona the brothers turned against him besu lay taqawmu tenesubet and they exposed them to the government and no mistrun agalto le bete mengistetu they exposed him tagalatemu they betrayed him selezi kager tabarara why did they were thinking that they are doing a good thing ለመንግስት ሚስጥር በማቀበላቸው መልካም ያደረጉ መስሏቸው ሳለ you all remember what happened የሆነባቸውን ግን ተስተውሳላችሁ moses had to withdraw ሙሴ አገር ለቆ ሄደ moses had to take off ለቆ ሄደ ተሰደደ moses ended up in a wilderness somewhere in another land called midian ሙሴ ወደ ምድያ ምድር ወደ ምድረ በዳ ሄደ where he spent another 40 years ሌላ 40 አመት በእድሜው ላይ ተጨመረ Did you hear that? Another 40 years. Arba amat lela beedmiyo lay tetchemer. Why they was in Midian land? Za be Midian midir yallen. The Jews continue to live in bondage for another 40 years. Yemiradachon Musen abbarro bebarnetacho lay lela arba amat chemero barnetachon katalu. As a result of rejecting God coming to them. Egziaber be Musen memtatun embi belo እድሚያቸውን አረዘሙት የባርነት እድሚያቸው as a result of rejecting god's visitation to them የመጣላቸው ለእግዚአብሔር ጉብኝት እንቢ በማለታቸው ያረጻነት ጊዜያቸውን አረዘሙት but after that time ከዛን ጊዜ በኋላ after 40 years ከ40 አመት በኋላ they they cried unto god እንደገና ወደ እግዚአብሔር ጮሁ when the affliction was too much but am si besabacho mekero when the torture was too much chikono si besabacho when they had gotten tired of their situation hunetacho si selechacho they cried unto god what exabet and god had their voice exabet semacho and again he sent the same moses yannu benya la alaqana geta man aderega yalutun muse melso la kallacho the same moses they rejected 40 years ago he was again the same one god is sending now አንፈልግም ያሉትን ሙሴ ያንኑ ሙሴ ከ40 አመት በኋላ አላከው woe unto us if we fail to know the days of our visitation የመጎብኛችንን ወቅት ከረሳን ወየውልን and moses came ሙሴ መጣ with the message መልክትን ይዞ to follow ለፈርዖን that's where we get that word now ይሄንን ቃል ያገኘ ነው ሐረግ ያገኘ ነው ከዛ ነው what was the message saying መልክቱ ምን ነው let my people go husband ልቀቅ go and worship me ለምን እንደም ይለቀቁት ያመልኩኝ ዘንድ and pharaoh resisted ፈርዖንም እንቢያለ why did he resist ለምን እንቢያለ he was a slave master ምክንያቱም እሱ የባሪያ ጌታ ነው he was enjoying their stay in the land yenessun yenetsa asra he was getting he was getting a free labor from them kenessu yenetsa gulbet bizbeza yetetekeme neber they had made roads and all the hard labor for the land yemenged sira yekebadu sira lenessu setwachwal there is no slave master that will want to leave you just go like that yetenyaw mko yebaria geta ባራውን እንዲው አይለቅም he will definitely resist ሁሌም ቢላል ፈራኦ resisted ሙሴ ፈራኦን እንቢያለ and because the lord was very determined እግዚአብሔር ግን ስለወሰነ he kept sending plague on that land በየጊዜው በዛች ምድር ላይ መከፈት ላከ a total of 10 plague 10 መከፈት i have good news for you ለናንተም የምስራች አለኝ the lord is about the lord is about to send plague in the camp of the enemy exiaber betala sefer lay maksaftin yelekal 
Somebody say amen. Because it's very determined to make you go. When you follow, follow, realize that you cannot stand that pressure anymore. He came up with a new strategy. Which I want us to look into very critically, but uh, you know, in a very short time. In verse 8, somebody on the screen, you can throw the scriptures there if you can. Somebody on the screen, you can throw the scriptures there. Exodus chapter 8. My wife has just mentioned it in passing here. Because we are husband and wife, we keep chatting over the things. Look at chapter 8 of Exodus, chapter, uh, verse 28. And the Pharaoh said, I will let you go that you may sacrifice to the Lord your God in the wilderness. Only you shall not go very far. What a strategy. Follow is saying, because of what your God has done to me and to my country. Because the pressure is too much. Because I can't lie to you anymore that you are not supposed to go. I am going to allow you to go. He he but we have to agree on how you are going. You don't go your own way. You go my own style. I am allowing you to go. But when you go, don't go very far. I want you to go. But when you go, go somewhere where I can monitor you from. Go on this nearby mountain where I am able to see you from. Go in a distance where, if need be, where I can easily retrieve you and get you back. Go, but don't go very far. Church. Children of God. Africa. Africa. I am sorry to let you know that many of us accepted that type of going. We accepted the going as long as we will not go very far. I don't know whether you know what that means. Pharaoh is saying, go. As long as you won't go very far. That's why many of us, we knew God, but little, little. We serve God, but not to the maximum. We do things, but in mediocrity. We knew God, but we are not serious with God. Sometimes, Pharaoh will never stop you from going as long as you not go far. The devil will never stop a Christian to buy a Bible as long as you will not read it. Satan, Christian, 
You say you buy a Bible, carry it, go, go with it in church. But and never it. The devil will never stop anybody to give in church as long as you will not give too much. The devil will never stop you to become a Christian as long as you never become a minister. Christian morning, Satan, I can kill him. I can get on scalal kudras. Did you hear that? The devil will never stop you from fasting as long as during fasting you have a flask full of porridge and milk. The whole day you keep drinking, you know, uh, juice and you claim that you are fasting. The devil has no problem with that. Devil has only is no until I can kill him. When he realized that he can't deceive you anymore about your going and the option is to go, he will allow you to go, but I advise you, don't go very far. Did someone hear that? Yes, I'm much, you know. Back to Africa. What Africa numbers? Africa. Africa. It's not an exception. Africa, Africa is a victim of that as well. Africa, Africa was allowed to get some independence. Some, some, somebody say some independence. <laughs> Say it louder. Some independence. Africa was given independence. This is a, a flag of Uganda. We got our independence in 1962. And our colonial monsters, they, they told us, now you are independent, you even have your own flag. Yep. We have gone back home. But guess what? We are an independent country which is not independent. They allowed us to go, but not far. They still control from a distance. They are still determine how our educational curriculum should be. They are the one to determine. Thank God for Ethiopia. I can see for you, you are a little bit far in some things. In my country, as you can clap ah, ah, I can, according to, according to what I see here, you were allowed to go, but still not very far. Ask your neighbor. Ask your neighbor, where did, where, whose shoot is this that you are putting on? Whose shoot is this? Where did you get the shoot from? If he's putting on a tie, ask him whose tie is this that you are putting on. Go, but don't go far. In Uganda, where I come from, you cannot pass exams. Exams, you know, exams. Yes. You can't pass exams not until you have passed English. But Agar, but doesn't matter how many other subjects you have done well. 
But as long as you have failed English, you have failed the exams. English I keep asking myself, is that the same case in Europe that if a child in Europe fails my language, Luganda, then he has failed the exams? Is that this man of God here I'm sorry I'm still learning your name uh, Dr. Alamu Dr. Alamu Alam. Alamu Alam. Alamu Alamu Alex. Dr. Alex Dr. Alex said something that's very touching and I saw it on the screen here when he was mentioning about Naomi and Ruth he said he mentioned the word correct. Correct. For Africans, there are certain things that we need to correct. Somebody say correct. Because whoever designed our educational system had, had an agenda. And you cannot blame him. Because, because he was designing it to benefit his interest. Don't, you can't blame somebody for his strategy. You can only blame yourself for not understanding someone's strategy. Back home in Uganda. When you look at our syllabus, our, our educational curriculum is full of many, many subjects. And some of the subjects are very unnecessary. Uh, you have to study so many, many, many subjects for you to get a degree. degree but everything you study, you study little by little. There is nothing you never know. Little physics little chemistry little geography little everything little there is nothing you can come out and claim that one i know you very well bizu yetimirt ayinat indinni mar bande sile tederegen ballechin tikit gize ka hulum tikit 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 physics tikit hisab tikit science ka hulum tikit tikit neger gin ehenen bemiga ba awqaw allo bilen defra menager yemanichilo bizu tikit tikitoch i brought my bag to demonstrate something give me my bag my big bag Give me my Bring it here. Here, I can have it here. You see this big bag I came with? I, I brought it to demonstrate something. Majority of secondary school students in Uganda, they move with a bag of this size full of books. They wake up very early in the morning at five. I better you're living in London, maybe you can tell us. Is that what's happening here? The children there carry the size of Pastor for the books. Do they wake up at four to go to school? Four, four in Uganda, our children at 5 a.m., they are already on the road going to school. What, what is in this book, in this bag? Textbooks of chemistry, yeah, physics, chemistry, physics geography, geography, biology, biology mathematics, mathematics, every politics and everything. Politics and but a kid, I mean a child who finishes school. When you ask him what exactly do you know best? A lot of time there is nothing he can claim 
that at least I know this one best. And yet the people who brought us the civilization, the education, who brought us the system, they are not doing this anymore. They are children are not studying so many many subjects. They study only the things they are going to do. But here someone is meant to study so many things, even those things that he will never do. And again, the head remains empty. When you ask why this, then the answer is why do we have to study so many subjects? They say it is because of the uncertainties in Africa. Africa was busy erget anya yemai konu bacho negoro isalalu hulum betako ishala chwali mana. Because you are not sure of what you're gonna do, then you have to study everything, and then by the end of the day you are half baked. There is nothing that you know. Africa wada kanya wada grande mtuar kasalam mai tawa kando bita kame vale no henu hulum nas tamrachu banga dachun ganas lalu sanatu. Do you know why it is still like that? By the way, for your information, because of the importance of learning the English and English to be the most priority on our, on our subject, we still get a supplementary, we get some, some grant to sponsor that English and the, where we are giving it, we are being give, given the money on our budget we are told we are giving you the money so that you can emphasize on that English your children have got to study it but I'm wasan you hono katimurto chullu kwankwa angizanya kwankwa asile hona yinin tankara chu kastamara chu leila un bajata chu yemida gifla chu digoma asile minna dargilla chu it was until I was already in German. That's when I got to know that somebody can become a doctor without first knowing English. German agar say no. Lekha andso English anya mi balonsak doctor monde mi chali I found the same thing in Denmark. Denmark kum say English anya mi balonsak doctor monde. I found the same thing in France. France ay monde so. I found the same thing in Norway. Norway men da zonya agar doctor la mo nirik alamir kwangwa wa sayno mo na garun. I met their doctors in Sweden who do not know English and ask them, how did you become a doctor without knowing English? Sweden en kunyo na doctor o chila ganyo in English anya mo rata chulum. Andet no English anya sata ku doctor yon achut bi ye gra doctor te yakun. In my country they made me to think you can't become one until you know the English. In China, people become professors without first learning another person's language. China, professor Then I came to ask myself, why all this? That's when I came to realize that the agenda is to wear down the African brain. African or China, I'm Rokama Sub Lema Dennis, Belgian at Edme Sraj and Abazub. Make the brain of African child tired and weak. Belgian at Buzunagar Gabtobat and Disalachona and Dasub, Bamasham Dad and Dinor, Yafet Arastasasa will Lemagdal, Enulasha Kumuna. Why? Lemon? Because by the time he finishes this torture of these so many books with the so many subjects the kid is already tired that's why african they even hate reading books because they were tortured when they were studying the african did not want to read books because they look at books as a punishment because at school it was a punishment Zare Timurti Kacharasu Wala Africa noch Mesaf Yamana Boot Belijinet Bachak Ladi Miacho Yetachawatu Yetat Nanu Yasabu Memmar Benabara Bacho Gze Mambemin Enu Lumas Af Mambemin Mekatacha Tedergo Slatana Garan Zare Mamba Mekatati Maslana. You ask your neighbor. 
Ask your neighbor. How many books do you have in your bookshelf? And how many are, are read? How many are read? How many books do you have in your bookshelf? And how many are read? Why? Because of the torture you got from school, you look at books as a burden, you look at books as a big devil, you look at books as a punishment, so they are there in your house as a decoration. They have never been read. Mazafter in the Makatacha and the Katat Argan Salaman now, and the Lick Davilos and the Mishesh Makara Argan Salaman now, Argan, but Ru Shell Fust through decoration. Somebody say, somebody say, let Africa go. Let Africa go, Vlach Chosti. Say louder, let Africa go. Chok Vlachu, let Africa go, Velusti. Whoever designed it. Our educational system in Africa had a number of agendas. And we need to look into this. We need to look into this. And take the good that is in it and leave out the bad that is in it. I've already told you the agenda was to wear you down. I keep asking students who invite me for their graduation parties. Sometimes I accept to go on graduation parties. And when I get a chance, I ask the graduates, What did you study? And some of them told me, uh, tells me, I studied computer science. And some others go ahead and say, I studied uh, 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 okay, they mentioned computer science. Computer science, you know. And sometimes I ask a question. Should I think now you know how to make a computer? They said, no, they only told me how to use it. So Africans are taught so that they can become continuing consumers. So whoever designed the educational system Designed it to create a market, a continuing market. The result is most of our students they come out of our universities when they don't know, when they know nothing to produce or to manufacture. They can't manufacture anything. Then what did they do when they went to school? They were taught to use the manufactured things. We are taught to use the mobile phones. Taught to use a computer. Not taught to make one. Making one, you'll be looked at as if you are going too far, and yet your master say, I'm going to let you go, but don't go far. In other words, I want to teach you to use it, but don't make it. The, the result is most of our students graduates to become job seekers, not job creators. Most of our curriculum are designed to produce job seekers, not job creators. If Africa is going to go, let us stop producing students that are 
floods on the street, floods elsewhere in the world to look for jobs, but let us produce students that can go into manufacture, Af go into production. Af Pe Africa is a country እንግዲያው እስከ ተማሪዎቻችን እንጀምርና ስራ ፈላጊ ስራ አቶ ደሞ ተሰደው ስራ የሚፈልጉ ሳይሆኑ ባሉበት ስራ የሚፈጥሩ ብዙ ምርት የሚያመጡ ሰዎች እንዲሆኑ አርገን እንቅረጻቸው may god deliver us from being consumers እግዚአብሔር በላተኛ ከመሆን ይታደገን and to become also manufacturers አምራች እንድንሆን እግዚአብሔር ይርዳን May God deliver us from being job seekers. Exiaber sira fellagi kemon yadinen. To produce people in our universities who can create jobs. Ba universities chachin sira fetariochin minawata asawoch yadirgen. Somebody say let Africa go. Kazi balay chok bilachu let Africa go walo. In conclusion, ya takallalkuy. I know that one cannot make Whoever believes in being a slave monster, that one does not make him feel happy. Uh, whatever I have said. Ahun yar kut neger hulu le baria geta och desma seni neger no. But when Nehemiah led a revolution, Nehemiah abiotin bemeragze, lautin bemeragze, and led Israel to go and rebuild Jerusalem. Yefarasaun ye Jerusalem in katar le magam batizbun simara. There were people like Tobias, and the Tobias, Gesem, and the Gesem, and the Sanbarat, and the Sanbarat. I know so we turn us on. They looked at them starting a revolution and mocked them. And as if we had a good lot of sinners, as a gana kajimuru, be mat al shetna ban. They stood and say, "What are you trying to do?" Mela maragi yamo kerkno. Are you trying to build the wall in one day? Band kan gumbit gana bala bala ang kwashashut. The wall you are trying to build, even when a fox will climb on top of it, you collapse and fall down. Aun mit gana bawe katar abaro bihid bat koy far salalut. I believe there are people who talk like that. Indi mi auru sa wachino ralu hein kase kase sila tanasa. But that shouldn't stop this revolution to go on. Aim laut gun and wadafit indi katil indi ainat zabajo chindas komut mafkadi lebat. Somebody say, let Africa go. Let Africa go, Lord. You may stand up now. Ulla chini bagro cha chini kum. And one of the things we are going to agree upon here. Zare is zindunis mama mufaliga unagarala. We are going to rebel against the Pharaoh. Be Pharaoh Allah imbi bila nama salad. Pharaoh is saying I'm allowing you to go, but you're not supposed to go far. Pharaoh he do ganarak achwati do Allah. We are going to tell the Pharaoh that we are going to go far. እኛ ግን ዛሬ መልሰንን እናገራለን ርቀን እንሄዳለን when you follow realize that uh, moses pharaoh ምን እናስተዋለ ሙሴ has rejected the idea in asab mbi ndalo sigabaw follow came up with another strategy pharaoh ደግሞ እንደገና ሁለተኛ ስልት ቀየሰ and i want to wind up with this እነን በማለላ አጠቃለል follow told moses pharaoh ለሙሴ እንዲያሎ In uh, Exodus chapter ten, verse twenty-four, that at Asher Harat Lai, he say, "I'm going to allow you to go, and the Tedu fakad Allah chowalal, and you be free to go as far as you want." And the Rekan Yalla chowalal, skafal lega chu tergwalal. But do one thing. Gan adu nagarar gwalal. Don't touch the flocks. Gan kabto chachu nizit tachudu. Leave the flocks behind. Kabto chachu nizit tachudu. Leave the cows. Leave the goats. Just go with nothing. That is a second trick. That's a second trick of Pharaoh. He wanted them to go with no frogs. No, in other words, no resources. And he told them that I go and serve your God, but leave the flocks behind. And Moses told him, How, when we go with no flocks, and we are going to serve our God, how are we going to serve this God with no resources? Anna ukamna, sila zim shakona kwantetan anhedem 
ከብቶቻችን ሁሉ ይዘን እንዳልን አለ አይ ቢሊቭ ኢቨን ኦን ዳት ትሪክ ዘ ቸርች ኢዝ ሃቪንግ ቪክቲምስ ዛሬ ቸርች ውስጥ የዚህ አይነት ተጽዕኖ ያለባቸው ሰዎች አሉ አፕ ቱ ናው ስካውንድረስ አፕ ቱ ናው ስካውንድረስ ዘ ቸርች ኢዝ ኖት ኮንቪንስድ አሁን ድረስ በክርስቲያን አላመነችበትም ወዘ ማኒ ሹድ ቢ ቶክድ አባውት ኦን ፓሩፔት በኢትዮጵያ ጉባኤ ላይ ስለ ገንዘብ መወራት አለበት የለበትም ክርክር ሆኗል በኢትዮጵያ ነው Some people believe that we can serve God even without money ያለ ገንዘብ ጌታን ማገልገል እንችላለን ብሎ አምናሉ አንዳንዶች That's a lie from the devil ይሄ ውሸት ነው Somebody say a lie እስቲ አንድ ሰው ውሸት ነው ይባለ Say a lie from the devil ይሄ የዳብሎ ውሸት ነው As we are going to pray አሁን ጸልያለን Can you allow me to ask this question? Ain't the yakin that you can see for Kaduling? I believe, and I can see there are so many men of God here who are widely travelled globally, all over the world. Balam zuri abetala ye bota ya galak galu thala lak exaber sa which is yallo. And even among you at the back there are so many people who have ever travelled. Bzu agar thaguza chumit thaku sa which Allah chuzi gubast. Allow me to ask this question. Ain't the yakin take acho? How many of you have ever travelled and you visited? a white friend uh taguzachu nechochin yenech gwadenyachu ne gobenyachu sewoch you visited a white friend somewhere in the world uh balam zura yone bota yone wedaj gwadenya frenje dacho gobenyachu sewoch you have a white friend whom you visited somewhere gwobenyachu zoe demu frenje yone gwadenya alley maqaw mitulu how about those that has ever hosted one he ever visited you a white friend visited you ወይም ደግሞ ሁለተኛውን ጥያቄ ልጠይቅ ፈረንጅ ፈረንጅ መጥቶ ቤታቸው የጎበኛችሁ ሰው ጎብኝቷችሁ የሚያቀው ይሄዳችሁ ጎብኝታችሁት ምጣቁ This is another lie that we are going to deal with ሌላው መፍታት ያለብን ውሸት ይሄ ነው የሰማው Again it was embedded in the education that was brought to us ወደኛ በመጣው በትምህርት ስርዓት ውስጥ ባይሞራችን ላይ የገባ ሌላ ፍልስፍና ነው Ladies and gentlemen ክብራና ክብራት I have also traveled for the last 37 years I've been preaching the gospel I almost been everywhere in the world but I'm sorry allow me to say I have not found anybody white in this in this world I haven't found anybody white ነጭ እንግዲህ ጓደኛላችሁ ብዬስ ጠይቃችሁ እጃችሁን አነሳችሁ ግን በአለም ዙሪያ ዞር ላይ አየው ብዙ አገር ሄጄ ሰበኩኝ አንድ አስተዋልኩት ነገር ቢኖር ነጭ የሚባል ሰው ለካ ይለም ladies and gentlemen ነጭ የሚባል ሰው ይለም in the little education i got እንዲ ባለች ጥቂት ትምርት ቋንቋ this is what is called white ነጭ የሚባል ይሄ ነው this is white ነጭ ማለት ይሄ ከለ i haven't seen anybody looking like this እዮ ዞሬ ባለም ዙሪያ አይቻለሁ ነጭ የሚባል አላይ come here come here sir they also say But this is dark blue they also say that they are black people እኛ እንደሞ ሳሁን ጥቁር ይሉናል the little education i acquired i know black is this thing እኔ ባለኝ ትምህርት ጥቁር ማለት ይሄ ነው come here i haven't i haven't seen anybody looking like this ይሄንን ነው የሚመስል ሰው አላየው ይሄን ጃኬቱን ማለት ነው i haven't seen anybody looking like this ይሄን የሚመስል ሰው አታችሁን Where do those phrases come? Where did they come from? ስለዚህ ነጭና ጥቁር ኮ ያሉን አስተሳሰባችን ለመቆጣ አጠራሰው የፈጠሩት አባባል ነው. They were used to demean you. ዝቅ ለማድረግ ጥቁርነ እኛ ነጭ ነን የሚለውን ዝቅ ለማድረግ የሚጠቀሙበት አባባል ነው. Making you to think you are black and another person is white. ራሳችንን እንደ ጥቁርና ሌሎች እንደሞ እንደ ነጭ እንድናይ Can you imagine if this brother goes somewhere in the world somebody can still call this brother black Is this man black really አስቡት እንግዲህ እኔ ናይቱ አንድ ሰው ጥቁር ብሎ ይጣራኛል Those are some of the lies that we need to deal with እንግዲህ እንደዚህ አይነት ውሸቶችን ነው መመለስ ያለብ መፍታት ያለብ ነው If we are, if Africa is going to go Africa ርቃ ማይድ ካለባ Africa Africa need to undo some things የተበላሹ ነገሮችን ማረቅና ማስተካከል ያስፈልገናል Because when they call you what you are not and you accept it then you have accepted a lie and you are going to live with that lie ያሎን ከሆን ሲጠሩ አቤት ካልክ ያመንከበት ነው ማለት ነው Let's put our hands together Let's put our hands together ለእግዚአብሔር ክብር እስቲ እናጨብጨባለን ሃሌሉያ Put our hands together for Christ ለእግዚአብሔር ክብር ከዚህ በላይ እስቲ አጨብጭቡ አንድ ሌስ ፕሬይ እንጸልያለን 
We are going to pray for Africa. Africa must go economically. Africa economia mefetat allebet. Africa must go even politically. Politica mefetat allebet. Africa must go spiritually. Memfesawi hiwata mefetat allebet. Africa must be independent even in their own thinking. Africa basta sasa wanqwa nets amotat allebat. May the Lord help Africa to go. Zare exiaber Africa nets ayadergat. May the Lord help Africa to believe. Africa no chendi mamen endi chelu exiaber irdan. That is not a slave to anyone. Kazi wala leman mbarya endalo ne mamen endi chelu exiaber irdan. Is not a slave to any monster. Leman mbarya och idelenem. May the Lord help Africa. Exiaber Africa irdat. To know. That it was also created by God. May the Lord help Africa. Exiabere African yirdat to believe in ourselves as well. Exiabere befet ara manenet rasa chun indinamen. That there is nobody in the world that understands for us. May the Lord help Africa to get out of low self-esteem. May the Lord help Africa to be delivered economically in the name of Jesus. And let that deliverance start within the church. Let that deliverance start from the church. From the parapet in the name of Jesus. Let any demon that bound Africa lose now. African asro yaza yetinyom ye aganant esrat aoni fata. May the Lord change our mentality in the name of Jesus. Exiaber be Yesusem astasa sabachen ik ayer. In the name of Jesus. Bageta be Yesusem. Africa, I declare you to go. Awujalo Africa ahun nesare. In Jesus' mighty name. Be Yesusem. Amen. Thank you, thank you, my brother Abera.